over half the biomass of a woodland is actually in the soil underground. And I remember reading a statement before that said, in a handful of soil from a woodland, there are as many living organisms as there are people on the planet. Jeepers, right? That is incredible. There's always going to be somebody that gets on to me and says, yeah, but how big is this handful? What type of woodland are we really talking about? Yeah, all right, we get it. Let's say there's poetic license in that statement. It's still up in the billions with a B. And that is unbelievable. So it goes without saying then that most of the living organisms are not visible with, with the naked eye. And also, we haven't named the majority of them. But as our recording equipment and our tools for observation become more accurate and better and more specialized we're naming and categorizing new life forms almost yearly and that's not just in woodlands that's also the ocean and all that crack but i'm talking trees today right so just because biologists ecologists white coats haven't named or observed it and said that's where it is doesn't mean that it's not here under our feet and we can see the effect that it's having on because it's all part of a network and a cycle so where am i going with this when when we're when we're planting new schemes whether it be in an urban environment or a rural whatever it is always try to get young trees in because they're hungry and they're vigorous they're pushing through they're setting up networks new relationships and yeah they're just vigorous older trees are slightly more set in their ways it's a little bit the same with people if you were to move country that's always the example i give to clients if you were to move country and it was um, a non-english non speaking environment or whatever your mother tongue is if you're going with kids they go into school they go into the playground they just start messing about and playing and they pick up the language they're not so embarrassed where adults can go in and be a bit shy and they don't want to be made a fool of and it's everything has changed it's the same with mature trees they're living organisms they're used to the soil even if they grow up in a pot they're used to having a certain network a certain amount of light even so they can go into shock or they can take a little bit longer to settle i mean sometimes they even die so go for younger trees and allow them to make up the um the soil beneath them and to set up those relationships so have a think about that and i'll talk to you soon